Hey mom, can you make powder milk fudge? What? Powder milk fudge. Why you video me for? Because when you're on camera, you have to make a video about it now. <laughs> you got you got jokes, huh? You got money for buying powder milk? No. Okay guys, so we're gonna make this little glut and buy some powder milk fudge. Tell me how I get sucker into making powder milk fudge. Mm. So this is a very simple and easy recipe and this reminds me of childhood days. I love a powder milk fudge and I got these picnic addicted to it. If they have to choose, they would choose the powder milk fudge over the cow's milk fudge. You know, everybody get into a preference of how they like things. So let's put this recipe together very quickly. I am sure a lot of you are going to appreciate it. But now, Rat, try it and enjoy. Let's start off by making like a pug. For this fudge very simple recipe nothing extravagant very easy to follow you know you just gotta get your sugar correct so about one and a half cups of sugar here i don't imagine like a me right we just like estimate our average and dump it in but it's about one and a half cups of sugar one cups of water one cup of pani water and we're going to go in with a little bit of mixed essence, about half a teaspoon or so there, and mix that in. We're gonna bring this up like if you're making a pack, you gotta get that nice sticky consistency, add our milk powder, and voila, just like that, you get some delicious powder milk fudge, you know. So we're gonna let this come up to the consistency we're looking for while we measure out our milk powder and grate some nutmeg into that. This is the brand I'm using. It have to be full cream milk powder. This is what you look like. And we're going to go ahead and grate some nutmeg into this. I love the taste of nutmeg in the fudge. This is optional, but I love it. Using this little pan here, this loaf pan, I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. Reason why it's going to be easier to take out of the pan and cut and stuff like that. So make sure while your mixture is coming up to temperature, you have your pan ready. So as you can see, our mixture is being reduced and we're looking for a sticky consistency here. So what I usually do, I would take some on my finger and I would test it. If it pulls a nice thread, as you can see, it's starting to pull a thread there. That's when I'm gonna go ahead and add my milk powder. So I'll give it like a minute or so more and add the milk powder and finish this up. As it's, you see, that's what you're looking for. I wanna, um, you know, make sure to tell you guys, if this is not pulling a thread, do not add your milk powder. That's when you're gonna have like a gooey fudge and it's not gonna be like nice and crumbly and get that nice texture that you're looking for. So make sure before you add your milk powder that you get that nice thread pulling. If it's not pulling that thread, well, that means it still needs to go a little bit more. Right here, it tells me it needs like, well, it's about there. That's the thread you're looking for. If you're not getting that, do not add your milk powder. You're gonna have a hot mess on your hand if you do that. So the sugar itself is telling you here now, you see when it started to get like that frothed and that bubbly texture, it's ready for the milk powder. So go ahead and add your milk powder, have your heat on low and stir this in. You wanna stir as quickly as you can Add your milk powder and stir as quickly as you can because this is going to come together very, very quickly. Keep your heat on low, medium to low because you do not want this to burn. See that, that consistency? That's what you're looking for. And make sure not to overboil your mixture because that's when it's going to come together too fast and it's going to get too hard on you and you're not going to able to work with it. This right here is the perfect consistency that you're looking for. So you're going to mix this in for about a minute or so when it's less liquidy than this and then you're going to pour it into your pan that we prepare. Now that we achieve this nice thick consistency we're going to go ahead and put it in our bowl to set this is what you're looking for so i'm going to go ahead and pour this in or dip it in whatever you want to call it pour it in to set in here now that we have it here i'm just going to take a little bit of water 
and pop the top of it. Room temperature water, spread it out. Not a lot, just a little bit to get this nice and smooth. You can use a little bit of butter, not a lot either, just a little bit. Smooth it out. I'm eating fudge already, I'm eating the spoon. Who remember eating? I know I, know I just lick up a spoon back home, right? I'll be used to fight for that spoon. As smooth as possible that you can get it, you wanna do it. And we're just going to let this relax here, cool down completely before we go in and cut it. And this is going to take probably about 15 minutes or so. It depends on where you live, the temperature. And that's it. Then the picnic is going to devour it. Then a modern would eat. That's all she wrote. The best part about fudge making. Whoever make the fudge get to eat the spatula. Mmm, it's so good. No worry, it's gonna go in the dishwasher. Oh, it's so good, guys. Why well, I love the parchment paper, just lift this out effortlessly, okay? So as you can see, it's hard to the touch. It's still very hot, okay? And then, well, the scorching hot. I am using a sharp knife and I run some hot water on it. And we're going to go ahead. Let me show you, look. If you peel the side, it's still a little sticky and needs to set. But I'm gonna go ahead and make some slices because if you don't cut this while it's like still warm, when time to cut it, it's going to break up on you or mark it or whatever you wanna say. I still need to set, you know, a little bit more. Cool them completely. I like it when it's completely cool down. So let's see how much you can get. Let's see. I know how many got straight, right? So let's see. I want to get like maybe one mark in there. Press it down. And if you feel like your knife is sticking too much in between of it, go ahead and run it under some more hot water. What she's looking like, we're going to leave this to completely cool down. Maybe I'll just put it back in the pan like so. And when it's completely cooled down, we're going to have the taste testers them jump in here. I want to show you guys that it's completely cooled down and it's ready. So, you know, you just snap it off like that. And look how easy it's snapping off. But look how beautiful it is. So you just plate it up and you serve. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hey, take a bite, take a bite, take a kiss. There you have it. Your fudge is ready. Let's see. You bite into it. Perfect. Hold on. It's not focusing. Yep. Perfect texture. Craving satisfied? Now no. you owe me 50 bucks. No. I'm going to take it out of your paycheck because that's how much the um, the powder milk costs. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. It's like like maybe like $14. Here the two of them like them one time powder milk fudge. Go, go. Cut it out. You and Rio. That was it really good so delicious right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can just sit there and devour all of it well maga hide it from myself so there you have it guys i hope you give this recipe a try and you enjoy it as much as them picnic this got enjoy it thank you so much for your love and support sorry about coco and rio creating a scene stay blessed stay safe see you guys soon with another delicious recipe